to survive. We escaped the carnage of the cities by driving deep to, to the countryside, hoping to find relative safety at the, her parents' farm. When we arrived, we were relieved. Not only were the parents still alive, but with the help of locals, they had managed to fortify the farm. The granary held enough grain to feed us for months, and we had plenty of ammunition. It seemed as though we could survive here almost indefinitely. All too soon, we realized things weren't that simple. With no one working at the local sewage treatment plant, filth had found its way into our drinking water. A disease we had all but forgotten about came back to haunt us. Cholera. Without antibiotics to treat the infection, people grew weaker and weaker, and finally died. It was clear that if someone didn't go and find some medicine soon, We'd all be wiped out within a month. Those still healthy enough to hold a gun decided to draw straws. Mine was the shortest. Of course it was. Fuck. Having been chosen for the mission into town, I wasted no time and started preparing immediately. I realized that even decisions that seemed unimportant at the time could make the difference between life and death later on. With that in mind, I headed to my father-in-law's wardrobe and started to think about what I should wear. Because, you know, the first thing you think of when trying to see family is what should I wear? Oh, also, let's say this is a text sort of game. So what you put is what you're gonna wear or what happens. Put on shorts and a t-shirt, put on a jacket and jeans, put on a on an old bike and leather, put on camouflage and put back. wear the old man's combat fatigues. I hoped it would make me much harder to spot. I knew that I was heading straight into a meat grinder. Zombies still wandered the streets, devouring any living thing that crossed their path. I knew that confrontation with the infected was inevitable, and so after I got dressed, I headed straight for the armory. before they got close enough to bite me. That's it. Having armed myself, I grabbed a rucksack to carry some additional supplies. It was imperative that I traveled light so I could complete my mission as quickly as possible. My fellow survivors were counting on me getting back with antibiotics as soon as possible, and the risk of being unable to outrun the infected was one I wasn't willing to take. Stock up on extra ammunition. Sooner or later I'd have to fight for survival and I wanted to be fully prepared. I was almost ready to leave the safety of the compound. For the first time since arriving I felt truly afraid. I knew that I may never return from this mission, but if I didn't go what little remained of my family would be wiped out. I knew my wife was sick and unless I got her the medicine soon, after all we'd been through, I couldn't let it end like this. I feel like I'm gonna cry. Say goodbye to your wife. Just know this is hard as it is. Get some liquid courage and have a farewell drink. Say goodbye I went to back inside the house, climbed the stairs to our bedroom, and slowly pushed open the door. My wife lay asleep in bed. She was pale and her body dripped with sweat. She had had a fever for some time, and I knew that without medicine she wouldn't last much longer. I leant over and kissed her gently on the forehead, whispered, goodbye my love, and then silently left the room. As I walked back down the stairs, I swore to myself, 
that I would find the antibiotics she needed or die trying. I took a deep breath and stepped out of the compound into the wasteland beyond. I heard the gate swinging closed, followed by the unmistakable sound of it being securely locked behind me. I started walking and didn't look back. As I began my journey, I realized that I had quite a way to go, and I considered finding alternative transportation. good condition despite the outbreak and seemed almost brand new. When I realized the doors were locked, I decided to smash one of the windows. This turned out to be a fatal mistake. The car alarm summoned all the infected into the area, and before I could get the engine running, I was overwhelmed, pulled out of the car through the broken window and devoured. Took a deep
without break this long by taking unnecessary chances. I took aim and put a round through his skull, just to be safe. As I walked into the back room, my heart sank. While the front of the shop had been left untouched, looters had clearly broken in at the back and taken all the medicine. Most likely, drug addicts in search of a fix. I searched everywhere, but the only thing left was a few tubes of hemorrhoid cream. I made my way back to the front of the shop and realized that my mission was far from over. I wondered if I could find any extra supplies before continuing. basic first aid kits and equipment. It didn't take long to find what I was after. I put it in my backpack and then headed back outside. I pressed on towards the local mall. It was the only other place in town that I knew for sure had a pharmacy. There may have been other places, but I didn't know where they were and didn't want to risk getting eaten alive while looking for something that might not exist. As the mall finally came into view, I felt a strange mix of relief and horror. I was now close to my goal, but it seemed that the last few hundred yards would pose an almost insurmountable problem. The plaza in front of the building was infested with zombies, idly wandering in circles and occasionally bumping into each other. As I wondered what to do next, the wind suddenly changed direction, carrying my scent toward the pack of infected. In near perfect unison, the infected sniffed the air and turned to stare directly at me. A split second later, they charged. just how stupid a mistake that was. There was far too many of them to dodge past, and I was soon grabbed, pulled to the ground, and disemboweled. Anyway, if you guys want to play this, I'm totally... 